Say, Dr. Jill, can you help me plan the welcome party for Greg? Oh, the new guy? That's a great idea. Is he starting work this week? No, next week. I'm thinking we should have the party next Friday. He will have started working by then. Well, you can count on me. You know, I'm a party animal. Ha ha ha! Yes, I know you love parties. You just gave me an idea. We can use this example to teach the future perfect. I said, Greg will have started working by then. It tells us in action, Greg starting to work will be completed before another event or action in the future. Let's say Greg's start date is Wednesday. Then the party is on Friday. His start date will be in the past by the time we have the party. Right, and we make it with will plus have plus the past participle. The main verb is start, and it is a regular verb. So we just add ed to make the past participle. We use this tense to talk about an action that has been completed at a future time. So we often find the word by before the future time. Back to the party plan, John. When will everyone have finished their work on Friday? I think everyone will have finished their work by four on Friday. Aha! There's that by part I told you about. The only problem is everyone will have worked hard all week, so they might be a little tired. That's why I'm going to play some lively music. Great! And that's Everyday Grammar.